And because of that, you done created dis-ease with yourself. And that's why it's called the power within transformation course. Because you got to fix you. You got to save you. You're the savior that you've been looking for. I like that song, I'm free. How y'all doing today? Hey, Miss B and Soul. Thank you for being here. How y'all started off your day today? I want to celebrate y'all today. I'm drinking this, um, this herbal tea. I want to celebrate y'all today. And then celebrating us all being on a healthier path, on a mindfulness path, whatever kind of path you got to be evolving. At least you're perishing. So did anybody today have a hiccup cough? I just love you the way you are. Thank you. I love me too. <laughs> I love you back, Joseph. Anybody had some fruit today for breakfast? Anybody? Who had fruit for breakfast? To electrify the already electric body. Anybody? Anybody drunk some water today? Some spring water with some electrolyte to electrify your already electric body. <laughs> okay, Tracy. Tracy has a fruit today, y'all. You your savior. Tracy knows she her savior. She got to save her own self. <laughs> Anybody had a smoothie today with some fruits, some dates to get some beneficial bacteria in your gut? What about that one? <laughs> anybody oil pull today? Did anybody oil pull today with the alchemist oil and some coconut oil to get rid of any, any sluggish um, parasites or toxins in the lymphatic systems, in the, in the tonsils, in the mouth? To help with the beneficial bacteria in your gut. To, to clear out the parasites. Anybody did that? To whiten their teeth. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Judy. Anybody whiten their teeth by oil pulling today? Anybody went to the gym today? Did anybody go to the gym and work out? Did anybody move their body around? Because moving your body around is akin to cleaning out your lymphatic system too. Like rebounding. We used to do that in, um, back in the day in school and we used to go play recess. We was always moving, but as adults, we go to work, we sit down at the desk, we come home and, and we're tired, we sit up behind the TV. We might make dinner, eat again, sit down, or take a bath, and go to bed on top of the full stomach. But did anybody go to the gym? See, these are small steps. Hey, Netta, these are the small steps that we need to be really congratulating ourselves about because that's part of the lifestyle change it really is did anybody catch their mind the mindfulness side here did anybody catch their mind when it was running over to a negative thought and you said well, why am i thinking this i could be thinking something else no get get back over here get over here into the now hey the conductor i like that one i like that name did anybody catch their mind because this really is a conscious journey we're on. Hey, JB. <laughs> How you doing today? What you did for your healthy journey, JB? You did, did you oil pool? Did you drink water? Did you go to the gym? Did, did anybody eat a vegetable yet today? I know it's a little early, but did anybody eat a vegetable? Did anybody have a, a, a herbal tea? I did the water already. I did the oil pulling already. I'm drinking my herbal tea. I didn't even eat food. Because y'all know I eat like a bird anyway. And I only eat once a day. But it's, um, what time is it? It's uh, 1259. It's almost 1 o'clock here in Arizona. And I'm going to eat after, after this here video. I've been working. So water is all I had. But still, that's a good start though. Some spring water with some sodium bicarbonate and electrolytes to electrify your body. That's the perfect sort. You know, people ask me, and I just post a video on my page. People ask me for help all the time. I guess like the newer people. I'm barely eating myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like after I came off my 90 um, day fast, it's like food is really has been overrated so i've been eating like every two to three days you know 
because I'm used to drinking my juices, eating my fruits and stuff like, right? But new people come here and they ask in the comments all the time, help me, I have an ulcer. Help me, I have this. Help me, I have that. What's the other thing you was mentioning? I was mentioning oil pulling, drinking water, eating fruit, eating vegetables, herbal teas. Did you go to the gym? Did you catch your mind? Those are the things that I mentioned already, Jay. But back to what I was saying, they, they asked me, could you help me with this? I have high blood pressure. What's the thing for this? They want a thing. Everybody just want a thing. And I understand it. I get it. We in this generation where we want instant manifestations. Mm -hmm. But that's that must be the new people on my on my page because for years I've been dealing, well, I don't want to say dealing, I've been on this journey of mindfulness in the, in the, the rabbit hole runs so deep. So this is like, a, I'm forever a student and you realize that too on your journey, you will always be a student. And so when I started out, I started out experiencing, hey Zion, experiencing sickness and disease, but I recorded myself from day one up until today now this has been a journey for me for the past like 10 years of my life i recorded when i went cold turkey started my journey i recorded when i had irritable bowel syndrome i recorded when my hair on my youtube channel you see all of this here i recorded when my hair in the middle of my head that's why i ended up shaving my hair when my hair in the middle of my head was thinning in. i recorded what else I had? When I had vertigo, I recorded when I was, ob I don't want to say obese, but overweight and felt like I couldn't breathe. I recorded that about I left it for you. For those who are new to this here page, I left that for you on my Power Within Transformation course. The Power Within Transformation course is available on my website and it has about 18 videos on it. How to read ingredients how to um, reprogram your mind, how to avoid um, toxic ingredients, how to grocery shop, how to manifest, how to reprogram your subconscious mind, how to cleanse your organs, all how-to videos there. I went in the whole food markets, I went in the Asian markets, I went in the Walmart. You literally will see me on this transformation course Starting my journey at the herbal shops, researching, and trying to figure out my reason why. This didn't have nothing to do with y'all back in at, at that particular time. Because I didn't even know y'all. I just was recording my journey. But I left it because I felt like it would be able to help my, my family one day. I felt like it would be able to help somebody that I loved one day. <laughs> you know? That what I was close to, kind of like. So, because, you know, everybody in a different place, you know, just because I wanted to be healthy, then me and my children wanted to be it at that time. So I recorded all of this, and I decided to compile it together in what I call the Power Within Transformation course. And in this course, is available on my website. You can't go wrong with this course because you have somebody. I feel like this course is for all of my reflections that's sitting up there asking, why? Why am I going through so much pain? Why am I constantly going back and forth to the doctor? Why am I always tired? Why am I always sick? Why? Why does bad things happen to me? Why? Where is God? Is God real? Why do I think like this? Why? Why do other people excel in this area of life and I, and I don't? Why? 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 So that's who I feel like the course is really designed for. And it could give that person, that reflection of me, it could give that person relief knowing that I don't already did work. And I just left them videos available on the Power Within Transformation course. I don't already did the work. I don't already did the research. I'm talking about the research as far as health and the physical is concerned. And the research as far as spirituality and mindfulness is concerned. Because see, when, when we're dealing with our feelings or when we, when we move from a place of feeling... We're really tapping into spirituality. When we enter our thoughts, we really kind of tapping close to um, body, which is physical. 
So this is why I incorporate both the physical and spiritual. Because you can sit up there and eat up all the herbs and stuff you want to. But if you're feeling like a sick person, if you're feeling like this ain't going to work, then so shall it be. Because spirituality can always trump the physical reality. That's how we manifest anyway because of the way we felt. That's how we manifest the ulcer, the sickness and disease, the, the glasses, the, the leaky gut, the kidney, the falling down the stairs. We manifest that because we thought that up. We had that fear already. <laughs> yeah. So, in any case, I left that available on my website for my reflections that are asking why. Because you're God in physical form and God never asks himself a question that he or she don't already know the answer to. So if you ask why, it's available. And while I'm on live right now, this course is, is, is regular price. What? I think I regularly priced it at 99 It's on sale for 49 on my website. But only while I'm here live will I even add to my reflections that are on this particular live. A discount code. You can use the discount code. I am ready. I am ready. So, so many people. I don't know if I'll be able to, you know, reply to all them comments because that's on a video that went viral that was saying, "Help me, help me, help me with this." So many people wanted help with that. On that video, this that was the video when I was when we were talking about the the urine, how your urine, um, if it has bubbles first thing in the morning, then that's a sign. That's a sign of, of your, the integrity of your kidneys, whether they are filtering with sediments being at the bottom of that toilet or not. Hey, Dre. Thank you for being here, Dre. So the Power Within Transformation course is available. And the code is I am ready. For any of you all who are really ready to make a conscious change, lifestyle change, we're not going to call it no diet. Because then when we call it a diet, we limit ourselves. When we call it a diet, it's, it's almost like we're creating a resistance. It's a lifestyle change. And it's really designed to educate you on health and wellness. Because once you just get educated on it, then you'll know that balance is key. Then you'll know that mindfulness is key. But a lot of people, in the, our physical reality, we got this mind which in our mind is, is, is really subconscious mode where we underneath a program, we underneath a program of our old thoughts. Thought by thought by thought. If you pay attention to yourself every day, you, you're pretty much thinking the same thoughts. And that's how we get into that rinse and repeat cycle of life, of re, in life with relationships, in life with jobs, with living situations, because our subconscious mind is running the show. And it, 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 it hears the thoughts of yesterday. The thoughts of the inner inner child that it never healed. That's also included in the power within transformation course. <laughs> Healing that inner inner girl or inner boy so that the relationships in the physical reality could change. So today I wanted to go congratulate you. Yes, I never say die. Because yeah, <laughs> yeah, and that's another thing. I always think about that when I say that word too. And being that we're creators, creating, it's so important that we're mindful of how we speak. What we do, we, we, we should avoid diets, quick fixes and stuff like that. And just, just go for the lifestyle change. Just dare to do and be different. Just expand by jumping from one quantum field to another. Mentally though. It's really easy and fun. If you enjoy the journey, it, you will begin to enjoy the unfoldment of yourself. Enjoy the unfoldment of yourself. And you know, like, for example, like when you begin to go to like the gym, you go to the gym, you get there, you're still working out, you get into the momentum of working out and you feel good. Now you get walking out of the gym, maybe you're sore, but you feel like that soreness really did something and it really helped you to build muscle. But think about before you went to that gym. You didn't want to go there. You dragged yourself, you, 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 your feet trying to get there. Because in that moment, you didn't want to do it. That's what is equivalent to like that diet talk is concerned. Man, I'm on a diet. I don't want to. But equivalent to a lifestyle change is that feeling of coming out the gym after you and pushed your way, pressed your way. The lifestyle changes, yeah, I feel good about this. 
Yeah, I, I know that I did something to make my muscles grow. Oh yeah, I'm gonna sleep good tonight. I know that I just exercised physically and worked out my lymphatic system at the same time. Yeah, that's what a lifestyle change does for you. Feeling good is really the secret. It is the secret to the physical reality. The way you feel really, really matters. So that's why I asked in the beginning of this live, who drank water? Didn't it feel refreshing? Who had a herbal tea? Didn't that feel good and warm going down and soothing to your body? Who had vegetables? Don't the cells of your body really, really get ignited and, and happy seemingly when you eat healthier food? Don't you, don't you feel yourself up with energy versus feeling yourself up with mucus? These small things. Who thought a positive thought and went down the portal of that positive thought? Anybody? <laughs> Yes, people go on a diet to get off of one. <laughs> That's funny. They go on. And you know, coming up, I never really was big, big, but I'm only 5'2". So the largest I got without being pregnant was 162 pounds. And I feel like I could not move. But I never called what I did a diet. I went on a lifestyle change. But growing up, I had siblings who wrestled with their weight and my mother, to be honest, and they were always on diets, but I stayed 110 for the longest. I was like 110 in high school, 110 until I had my first child, actually. <laughs> but that 162, I don't know, it really, really did something to me but I said to myself I do not want to be like those around me that fought all their life on a diet it was almost like I didn't notice then but it was almost like I understood that they was creating resistance because they suffered on those diets they wanted to eat certain things and deprive themselves and so how they felt mattered but they was ignoring how they felt <laughs> I don't think that that's a healthy place to be in I don't feel like that's healthy because even in this lifestyle change, it's not about ignoring how you feel. It's about doing something that's going to give you a new feeling, a new sense of joy, a new sense of accomplishment, a new sense of, hey, wait, not only do I feel good about this lifestyle change, but now I feel empowered because now I'm the hero. Now I realize that I'm the person that got to save myself. Let me rescue myself. Because I'm in dire need to heal myself. I'm in dire need of coming out of this rut. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I think it's a beautiful thing. To understand your power. Your power over you. Because life happens through you. And it is, it, I feel like it's, 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 it's just a blessing to be in this position where I've helped other people whether it was spirituality or physical, with mindfulness or just physical sickness and just ease. It's a beautiful position to be in to help other people that are just like you, going through the things just like you went through. It's really, really beautiful. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Indy, that's how you say that? So yeah, when I was um, younger, when I was younger, I experienced all kind of sickness. I wore glasses. I had irritable bowel syndrome. The first day of my cycle, I had to stay home from school because my cramps were unbearable. <laughs> Almost risked, you know, getting put out. I think it was like 14 or was it 17 days back then where you couldn't miss so many days in school before you had to flunk that year. I was just at the borderline every year because... I was in so much pain and you know painful periods are tied to toxicity in the body just in case you don't know painful periods endometriosis those fibroids and tumor type things all of this no matter what you got the fancy word for it ties back to toxicity in the body so in the physical is toxicity in the body but in the spiritual it's, it's those thoughts 
it, it, you got to bring it back to mindfulness. It's, it's, it's the fact that you're holding on to, to some chaotic energy in the spiritual realm. So it must manifest and show face in your physical reality. That's what the transformation course is all about. Transform that energy. That's what that's what we are. We're creators, creating. We're manifestors, manifesting. <laughs> yeah. How do you motivate yourself to even start? You got to get tired. That's my answer, Joseph. You got to get tired. Some people just ain't tired just yet. That's the motivation. Because for me, let me tell you how I did. When when I I, I ended up having, I was so mute. And, and, and like I said, my stuff started in the spiritual realm. I was holding on to pain from daddy issues. Like, right? So I was trying to be a big girl. Stuff, you know, tuck it up. Um, don't share my feelings. I'm going to be okay because, you know, daddy ain't, still ain't coming. The weekend business with no more. I don't need him. I'm going to be all right. Da, 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 da. And so I just kind of like stopped loving, stopped talking. I ain't going to talk. I ain't going to be part of nothing. I, I became what they call an introvert. That's how I know that some of those introverts be just a version of a person who ain't real. So with holding on to all of that in spiritual in the physical reality, now I got thyroid issues. Yeah, in my physical, because it had what I was going through spiritually had to manifest. And so then I had irritable bowel syndrome because I didn't clear that up. So all of my chakra pools of energy, then I didn't have no mental clarity. I had like a brain fog. Then I used to sleep all day. I'm talking about two, three, four in the evening, like sleeping, like just tired, like, right? And it got to a point where I would go to work. I remember it like it was yesterday. I would go to work. I had a white Ford Expedition, and I come home from work, and I pull in the garage, and I turn the car off, I roll up the windows, and I take deep breaths in the car, and I'll be like, thank God I made it, thank God I made it home, oh, this brings back so many memories, because if any of you know anything about thyroid issues, it takes so much of your energy. You get so weak. It's like, but this was because I created this, this shit crap in the, in the spiritual, but I didn't know that just yet. You get so weak and then your weight fluctuates. away. So you go, you either have hyperthyroidism or you have hypo. And so regardless of what you have, you either lose weight or you gain your weight, like, right? And so I sat there and it's like, if I could just get the strength to get dinner, I could do this. I could do this, right? So I, had, you know, I had two boys. Well, I have two boys, and so I would go in the house and I would make dinner, you know, something for them to eat, and then I take my bath. Taking a bath with hot showers, I would pass out. This is how toxic I was. This is how low frequency I was. I would pass out. This is why I know so much about the cold showers because one day I used to take the hot showers and because my my pressure, my blood pressure was so low already, the hot showers, they stagnated my energy even more. Cold showers give you a burst of energy, but I was taking a hot one, stagnated my energy even, even, even more. Call myself relaxing myself, which is really just putting myself to bed early. I would go to bed at like 7 or 8 o'clock just to, because, you know, during the week I didn't have no energy. And before I would go to bed, I would tell my boys, you know, um, I love you. Because I thought I was dying, right? I didn't know what else to do at the doctor's office. They put me on all kind of medicine and everything. And I'm thinking that I'm going to die. And I'm going to die. And I'm going to have these little boys. And I would tell them, look, mama going to bed. Because mama thought when she went to bed, she was going to die. And she was going to wake up tomorrow. And I would tell them, look, take care of your brother. And be your brother's best friend, yeah? Y'all all y'all oh, got. Y'all got each other. Look out for each other. And this is really why I think my boys are really, really close because I did this here. Anyway, I would go to sleep and the next morning I would wake up and I was still alive. I was still alive to go to work. And then I would peel myself out of bed and I would go to work. Or if I was off, I would sleep till like like I said, three or four in the evening because I was so dog tired. But when I realized that I wasn't dying, per se, as fast as I thought, every day, I decided to do one thing different. Just one thing. I said, well, since I'm alive today, I think I'm going to go to the store and try this, this here fruit that I never tasted before. And 
read about it. I'm going to read about it and, and maybe it'll help me stay woke. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And so I did that. And then the next day I would go to the store and then I would try a herb. And then, then the next day I would go in the kitchen and I'd tell my boys, hey, let me teach you something different about cooking because my mama never taught me these things. How about we cook colorful meals? Oh, y'all, I'm about to cry. <laughs> because I made it. <laughs> because my mama never taught me these things, but I want, I want to teach you this here. I want to do something different here. And I want you to look at this food as if you're a superhero and you need colorful food on your plate. And so we're going to make this together. I don't know how it tastes. I don't know how it tastes. We're going to try to make it as good as possible. Because I, I hear that you need superpowers. Mind you, I needed the strength. Mind you, I needed the power. I needed to electrify myself. But I did to do something different because I felt tired. I felt tired of being on rinse and repeat. I felt tired of going to the doctor and them giving me another prescription. And the last time I went, the lady at the doctor, the doctor lady, bless her heart, she told me, she asked me, how was, how was everything on your job? Were you depressed? Because she, she wanted to give me antidepressants, right? Because I was always in pain. I was always going back and forth. I'm like, lady. I'm not going to be your lab rat. I'm not going to be your lab rat. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I tell you one thing, what you going to do, you're not going to put that on my chart. Because if I come back up in here, I don't want nobody downplaying how I feel, thinking that I'm just crazy, right? Take that off of my chart, and I'm getting up out of here. And she was like, well, well, Miss Rie, what are you going to do? I was like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I know I'm going to stop coming to you to do anything. Because you're not really helping me. See, I did that because I, I felt tired. <laughs> I felt tired of being the lab rat. I felt tired. Joe, when you get to the place where you feel tired, you get this inner strength. It's almost like your inner being begins to say, ooh, this is the moment that we've been waiting for. For her to get tired of doing it her way. And in religion, if you, if you, religious, um, Brought up in religion, you you look at this is 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 surrendering, to surrendering to God. I surrender all. <laughs> you know how they say in religion, not my will, but Thy will be done. It's almost like you're going back to the source. You're going back to 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 to, to, to the organics, to the so-called to the nothingness, to the fools that's supposed to be for the healing of the nation because you surrendered, and that's what I did. I surrendered. <laughs> And before I would go to bed at night, and this was, I was, so I started this here journey when I was still kind of in religion. So, so, you know, I was, I was calling myself praying, but my prayer was like this here. I was in between religion and spirituality. And I said, I said, you know what, Jesus, Lord, Buddha, Krishna, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, higher inner being, higher self. Angels, Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, and St. Clair. Look, I don't even know. This is what I was saying. I don't even know who I'm talking to no more. But I know that there is something I feel outside of me. And to you, I say, to live is to die. I surrender. And so what I was saying is, I don't care no more. I don't care no more. Now, I didn't know nothing about the law of assumption. I didn't know nothing about the, the, the law of attraction. What I, I didn't know nothing about no resistance. But what I was saying was, I don't care no more. Okay? I surrender. Take me. Take me. I don't know. I already said my goodbyes to my babies. Oh, Lord, y'all gonna make me cry on the line. Because I remember this like it was yesterday. I don't know. I already said goodbye to my babies. I already done been through hell and ain't nobody come and save my ass. <laughs> to live is to die, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to die. Because what I'm not going to do is be no lab rat. What I'm not going to do is allow people outside of me to tell me that I am crazy. Because I'm going through this sickness and disease at this right now moment. See, what I'm trying to share with you all is that I'm 
felt tired. And so when you really get to a place in your journey where you feel tired, then you will dare to do and be different. Because along with me re releasing or surrendering what I was doing energetically, I didn't know that that day, but I know that this here today, that what I was doing energetically was releasing resistance. <laughs> See, if you know anything about energy and the law of assumption and the law of attraction, some of us, well, I would say all of us, we have a stumbling block called resistance. And sometimes that resistance be because we have fear of certain things, like, right? But guess what? I would say, hello, death. I'm ready. I said goodbye to my babies. I'm ready, death. Oh, death, where is your sting? And so when I did that, the fear of the death, <laughs> the resistance that I had in life went away. And so I wake up the next morning Got strength? What the hell? But I thought I was dying. No, I released resistance. And so when I released the resistance, oh man, all things are gone. Behold, all things shall be new. So I, I had reprogrammed the subconscious mind. I had opened up a portal that I didn't even know. I didn't even know what I was doing, but I just surrendered because I was tired. I was going to work and, 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 and being hard to breathe because of the, the thyroid issues. I was tired of thinking like everything was okay when I knew something was off and I didn't know how to fix it. I was tired of going to the doctor and them telling me, okay, here's another pill that's supposed to help you with that. And then, hey, take this backup pill here because you're going to strip these minerals from your body. And then you might get an infection because now you're on antibiotics. So we're going to give this here antifungal to you. I was tired. <laughs> so this is what, this is the outcome of being tired. This is the outcome of being tired. This is why I come and talk to you about health and wellness. I'm healthy today, but on my yesterday, I felt tired. And so I feel like my, my, my transformation courses, my videos, my mindfulness, my consultations is all valuable for the reflections of me that's just so freaking tired. <laughs> they want to know another way. They've been asking themselves, that's, that's been said, what? What now? I'm so tired. <laughs> yeah. And so that's, that, that's why I come here to help that person, to help those people, because they the ones. They the ones that, 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 that they, they break right there at, at that point where they next move could be releasing that resistance and walking unto the happily ever after. Or better yet, experiencing their heaven on earth. All because they got tired of the old way of thinking. All because, just like in the biblical text, <laughs> they felt tired of being crucified. And they decided to resurrect themselves. Because that's all we're doing here. Everybody life is a reflection of something in the old contract. Some old stumbling block in a old contract or the subconscious mind some stories and beliefs that they didn't had and put up in here that's become their stumbling block but boy when they become tired and rewrite that story it's almost like they get resurrected again yeah they experience heaven on earth and that's what I'm here for that's who I am here for nobody <laughs> oh, hey, sis, I'm sending over some people from my, <sighs> oh, okay, 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 oh, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, I appreciate that, thank you, send them to my website, send them to my website, um, Chronicles, for the transformation course, give them the code, too, the code is I am ready, tell them if they enter in the code I am ready, that they'll get an additional discount on top of the discount that's already on that transformation course. And this course, I, I, I was in the grocery store shopping. I talk about PLU numbers. I talk about harmful ingredients. I teach the harmful ingredients. I teach so much in there. I teach meta, 
meditation, mindfulness. Now, here's the thing. I want to tell all of you. Thank you for posting that. The code is I am ready. Right. That's perfect. I want to tell you. This has been years of a journey. So when you see me on the videos, on some of the videos that I'm talking about that I say just exclusively for this transformation course, you, my hair shorter, I look different. You could, you could even see the acne still, you know, the, the, not, not the acne, but you know how you get the dark spots after you've had acne on my face. You can see that. You can see that I'm still, I'm just starting on my journey of unfoldment. So you'll be able to capture then, years ago, and see me now. And then that, that builds confidence with you at the same time to know that you too are like me. Like we're one. We're on the same journey. We, we, we take obstacle course, but we, we're trying to get to the same darn place. And so now you have a buddy. You know how you, you be wanting a little workout buddy? Now you have a buddy. You have a buddy to go through your lifestyle change with. Video by video. It's just videos. How-to videos. And you watch the video. You absorb the information. You you do the work. After you absorb, don't just be a listener only, but you be a doer. You absorb and retain the wisdom and knowledge for when you go to the grocery store and pick your choice items. For you, When you change your mind to electrify your body, when you realize that you're limitless in our multi-dimensional universe, you're limitless. And so then, then it gets you out of your box. Then, 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 then sky is not the limit for you no more. <laughs> you're boundless. You're free. And so he who the law has set free is free indeed. Then you do what you want. Then, then you make sense of all of the parables in the biblical text that nothing shall by no means harm them. How? that because you done renewed your mind then you then you better understand the biblical text when they say think it not robbery to be equal with God because you done transformed your energy yeah because you done resurrected your own self then you understand when they talk about oh 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 if they see God is here or God is there don't follow him because you will understand that the kingdom of God is within you then you won't be waiting for nobody to crack the sky that didn't crack the sky for grandma and didn't crack the sky for great grandma, but he going to crack the sky for me. So I'm going to just sit here and I'm going to put all of my, my problems in my Bible until something or someone cracks the sky. No, 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 no. Then you better understand that. Oh, no, I got to crack this here. This here first eye open. <laughs> That's the only cracking that needs to be done. Cracking this here first, I so I can renew my mind, and so that I can see God face to face, and finally live. Because prior to prior to this unfoldment of your resurrection, you ain't really living. This is why we go through sickness and disease. It's really just saying that you are at this ease and this harmony with your inner being. That's all that sickness and disease is all about. But you better understand that after you come through the power within transformation course to transform you, to get you there. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Chronicles. Oh, yeah, y'all tap the screen. I don't normally ask for that, but y'all can tap the screen today because I want to be able to be a blessing while I'm here to my reflections. I am ready is the coupon code for the transformation course. And it is guaranteed results. Most people choose that course and they sorry. Most people choose that course and they they irritable gets um becomes a thing of the past. Wearing eyeglasses. And for me, I used to wear eyeglasses. And all and when you see I'm not being ugly with nobody here, but when you see somebody in a physical reality, unless they have had an accident where they injure themselves physically. <laughs> With an accident. They're the exception. But everybody else that just grew into having to wear glasses. That's just an indicator letting you know the integrity of the good. I'm not trying to be ugly. I'm just trying to let you know. Because you are, your body is infinite intelligence. It knows how to save your life. It knows how to rob Peter to pay Paul. It knows what to do. That means you are not giving it the thing it needs to eliminate waste. And so 80% of your immune system lies up in your gut. So what your body is saying to you if you're wearing glasses is say, hey, 
we got to eliminate some of these things. It's getting a little cloud, cloudy up in here. So I'm going to show you that it's cloudy up in here because I'm going to make your vision a little cloudy. And maybe you'll get the point. I'm going to show you that I'm busy doing a whole bunch of work up in here that I ain't going to have time for your gout. Mm -mm. I'm not going to have time for you getting, you know, swole up here and there. I'm not going to have time for your hair thinning out. I don't have time for that because I'm 80% of your immune system in your gut. And you keep feeding me breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You keep feeding me all kind of glued products. You keep <laughs> giving me things that's going to make me work harder instead of make me work smarter for you. Because you are a light being. You are an expression of light. All of these, when we talk about increasing your frequency, this is all about light. You seeing me, you only seeing really my aura, my light, my reflection. Whether you like my aura or not, you seeing it as light. You're not seeing uh, as you interpret it as I'm a black lady talking to you. That, oh, I might look like you or, or you might recognize the hue of my skin because you've seen other skin like this. Yeah, but no, no, no. At the end of it all, it's all light. Because that's what we all are. And so that means our food, our food should, should electrify our body. It should be also an expression of life. Giving you more life force. Instead of causing disease or causing your light to dim. <laughs> you are the light of the world. Yes, you are. And I mean that both physically and spiritually. You are. Thank you. I would love to share my testimony. Yes, yeah, Styles. You have a testimony too. I would love to hear. You got a thousand people. If you got a thousand people, you could come on up here, um, Styles, and tell us your testimony. You can have church up in here. Remember when you said, um, well, I'm a little church girl. You, you used to have that song. I've got a testimony. The Lord has been good to me. <laughs> we can get the tangerine. <laughs> we can get tangerines out here. We can start to have a church. <laughs> That's beautiful. Where do I go to choose the I Am Ready course? It's available on my website. Hey, Brenda. It's available on my website. You could go to my profile picture. The link to my website is up there on my profile main page. My website is www.saltoftheearthhub.org. Once you get there and see a picture of me on my website, right underneath the picture of me, it's going to say the Power Within Transformation course. When you add it to your cart, make sure you put underneath the um, the title of the course, I am ready. Put that in the coupon code bar and you'll get an additional percentage off of the already sale price. And then instantly you'll have the downloads on your phone or whatever device that you logged in on. You have it and you can just click on the videos and watch, take notes, implement grow, evolve, expand, get your power back, get your life force back. I'm telling you, <laughs> I wish I had a me. And I ain't saying this because like I'm, I'm financially free, y'all. I haven't already manifested the life that I desire. I don't work no more. I'm good in life. I'm just here to help y'all. But I'm saying at that moment when I used to have to work and I used to be sick and I used to be tired and I used to look for a lady that just kind of like looked like me, that could, I could relate to, you know, I wish I had a me. And because I didn't have a me at that time, I made a promise to myself, when I get to where I really want to be as far as mindfulness, as far as health is concerned, I'm going to be that me for somebody. I'm going to be that me for somebody that I never had. And so that's what I, I thought I was being, um, preparing myself to be the me for my children and for my sisters, you know, my close family. But I realized later in my journey, wait, hold up. I could share this with the world because people need this. People get bamboozled in the physical reality. But I've always been the one that they do different though. I've always been that one. <laughs> Some people don't want to take that chance because to some people, me saying that I told the doctor, you know, look, I ain't, you ain't about to be, my, I'm not about to be your lab rat. So some people, they wouldn't dare tell their doctor that. Oh no, you need that. I was like, man, look, I'm about to get up out of here, lady. I ain't never, <laughs> I never went back to that lady. Now I do go to my executive wellness um, visits once a year, get my blood work and everything done. And that's how I, you know, kind of like look at that and, about my business but I have no health issues at all 
I don't wear glasses anymore. I'm not no leopard. So this is my testimony. This is really my testimony, my life experience that I'm sharing with you. And when somebody can give you their life, <laughs> it's like they're giving you all that they have. I'm giving you the last 10 years of my life. On, on these videos, I saved them for you to help you. And so it's, 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 it's all included in this exclusive power within transformation course that you'll be able to look, take notes. Because like, okay, let me tell you. When I first started, when, you know, I told y'all I went to the store. I went to the store and I was just buying fruit and buying, buying vegetables. But I, I went to the store and I was just buying nasty stuff, to be honest with you. I bought the nasty kill and I hated it. I bought it because I, I was like, look, this stuff green. I know I knew as much as if it was green, it got to be good, you know, because I never used to want to eat no green stuff. You got to have magnesium and chlorophyll. I knew that. So I would try to eat it. You know, so you ain't got to go through that kind of eating kale and this nasty kind of stuff. You can go to the, to the stuff that you really, really like. And <laughs> I thought I was limited to like kale and, and I thought I was going to have to take the bitter herbs and I thought I was going to be squinching all day long. But no, you find joy in the fruit, like the coconut wa uh, water. You find joy in the electrolytes that you can get from pink Himalayan sea salt or the gray Celtic salt. You find joy in spring alkalizing water. I didn't even know nothing about that. I knew nothing. So I'm giving you the juice for you to go get the powerful stuff that tastes good, that's going to heal your organs, that's going to clean out your lymphatic system. I'm taking you to the store. I know nothing about no PLU numbers. I had to research that on my own. I didn't know nothing about that. So, but I'm in the store with, with the fruit in my hand telling you, okay, if they don't if they don't have a nine in front this year, that means it's not really organic. If they have a four-digit code, that's different from the five-digit code. I'm breaking down waters. I didn't even know that they had different types of water. You got your electric water. You got your alkaline water. You got your acidic water. You it was just so many things that came in my journey, but it was like, my thoughts, my subconscious mind made way for my unfoldment because I met people at the right time. I met healers. I met herbalists. And they opened up to me and they gave me the juice. And I didn't realize then that they were giving me the juice to be in a position. Oh, I'm about to cry again. To be in a position to help other people. Because one of the healers was my guru. And as I'm talking, I could feel his energy because um he's dead in the physical reality but he lives on with me and i just heard him tell him he said i feel so proud of you because in a physical reality when i met him i was going to a group <laughs> i'm sorry y'all i was going to a garden center one day in New Orleans, Louisiana, my hometown. And there was this man. There was this man that just walked up to me. It was almost like I'm walking in the garden center to look at the herbs on my journey. And the man walked up to me and I kid you not, it was almost like this man just appeared from heaven almost like. Because, you know, I didn't see him coming. He, he just showed up like right there. And when he showed up, I was like, hi. And it felt so familiar. And he felt so familiar. And I was an introvert, like I told y'all. And so when I met him, he had gave me a card. And he was like, I want you to come and visit my garden. Because he worked at the garden center. But he also had a garden at home because he was a herbalist. And I'm an introvert. I don't be going to people's houses and stuff, y'all. I don't like attention and stuff. And I'm, uh, that's just, that's just how I just always have been, even at this healed point in my life, a healed so-called introvert. But when I wasn't healed, I really wouldn't dare go in people's houses. But I went to this man's house and I said, this man card and this man taught me. He taught me so much. And I was familiar to him and he read me and he was like, I'm, I'm 
glad to finally meet you. I've been waiting for you. And in my mind, I'm not spiritual yet when I met this man, right? I'm, just, I'm, right, I'm right there between one and wondering, who, who am I praying to Jesus? Who told what, what? But he was reading, he did a reading on me and he was like, I recognize you from another lifetime and you're going to do this and you're going to do that. He told me everything he told me about being here, right? <laughs> but he took his time with me and I would go to Whole Foods store. We would, in New Orleans, Louisiana, there's a Whole Foods store on Broad Street. We would be in the foyer on Mondays. Every Monday we'll be in the foyer of the Whole Foods store. And we would educate people about herbs. And I would volunteer at the farmer's market with this man. And he, I would help him with his sales. And he would begin to teach me how to talk to... I thought, I thought back then these things was a little weird. Because I was new to this. Talking to the trees. And knowing that trees were conscious. And he was telling me, you know... He was telling me it really don't matter. You're going to get to a place where you understand that it really don't matter. Because just like in a biblical text, it's not what man puts inside of him that defiles him. It's what comes out of him. So that's why in my transformation course, I don't just talk about no physical. We're going we gonna to break through the, the spiritual too. Because he told me as my healer, as my first cure, he told me, he said, baby, you looking for a herb, but it's your heart. for her but it's your heart and when you finally open up your heart I see you now you go be major and then you go turn around and you go help your other reflections and I was like what you mean my heart ain't not wrong my heart <laughs> but he said the reason why you have the thyroid issues and man I never told the man about the thyroid issues and why I was constantly volunteering and trying to learn the herbs to help me with my situation thyroid issues and man I never told the man about the thyroid issues and why I was constantly volunteering and trying to learn the herbs to help me with my situation but he's like the reason why you have a thyroid issue is because your heart chakra ain't open but when you open up your heart then you go then you, your self expression go come back and then you could be able to talk to other people and you could be able to heal people just through the power of your spoken word and I'm looking at him I'm like man how you do this he invited me in his house one day and when I walked in I was I had always been had a religious mindset about you know Jesus energies higher self and stuff like right so when I walked in his little meditation room he had these little uh, I don't know it's not a curtain but you know how they have like um chains or chimes type things where you could, you could see through them on the opening of a door anyway he had those scenes hanging and, and you, I didn't have to open them to see in the other room but I touched like two or three of them because he wanted me to go up in there and sit down and meditate for a moment and I said I touched the three of them and I said no I, I don't want to go up in there and he's like why I said they got a lot of people up in there See, I didn't know how to, you know, articulate what I was feeling energetically. But I was like, they, they got a lot of people in there and they're looking at me. And he was like, so you're getting tapped in, huh? <laughs> he said, but I want to let you know, them people, them energies that you're feeling, most of them you brought up in here. He was telling me the story. Now I understand everything that he's talking about. He's not in physical reality no more. But he was telling me the story of what I was carrying with me. In other words, bag lady, you gonna hurt your back. <laughs> Toting all them bags like that. And so this is why, this is why the transformation course ain't going to just help you in no physical. Because the physical is only 0.01% of it all. The 99.99999% is the spiritual. It's what you're carrying with you. It's the fact that your heart chakra not open. It's the fact that you're not effectively communicating and speaking your truth because your throat chakra is out of balance. And it's all because of something that probably happened umpteen years ago that God created a stumbling block in your life. <laughs> and because of that, 
You done created dis-ease with yourself. And that's why it's called the power within transformation course. Because you got to fix you. You got to save you. You're the savior that you've been looking for. Ooh, Lordy. It's a beautiful thing. I'm sorry. I done started crying and stuff. Ain't no crying on TikTok. <laughs> Let me look at the comments. Let me see. Yes, I made a pose. And now they're rushing me asking who do I recommend. I thought of you. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Miss B. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We love you. I love you too. I'm new to this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a first, I mean, a fresh place to start. I was new. I was the new girl. I don't look like this person on some of those videos on that transformation course. I was a new girl, but I, I was daring to be different. And if you want to walk, want to friend walking with you on the videos, there you go. Start there. I would definitely, if I were in that state of being, I would definitely start there because I always wanted somebody to kind of like be there with me. Because like you, you'll begin to realize that the journey is about you. And most people in your physical reality ain't going to be ready to go on a journey while you ready to go. Because we all have like a so-called invisible, invisible spiritual clock of awakening to our inner being. Awakening to truth that if you try to coerce other people to wake up and wake up, they're going to get mad at you. They're going to tell you turn that their light off. No, my alarm clock is set for a couple of hours later. You go on without me. So spiritually, now via the, the, the YouTube videos, you'll have somebody kind of like with you that have been through some of the things that you're going through on the journey. Now, that's the beautiful part. That's the beautiful part. Oh, 10K, we got the 10K. Oh, thank you, Chronicles, for telling them to press the screen. Thank you so much. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> she said I, I didn't stop tapping. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. I, too, am healthy. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and that's the spoken word. That's power there. That's speaking. That, that's energy there. You know, speaking the word. Because your word cannot come back to you void, like, right? I didn't know anything about that in my journey. When I come from religion, you know, they, they was just really trying to fake it till they make it. They, they were speaking things, but not really believing it or feeling it. See, when I, remember I told you earlier, it's not really just about the spoken word just saying, yeah, yeah, I'm blessed and highly favored. And in, in, in your mind, your habitual thoughts, you're like, oh, I hope. They don't see that I'm lying. No, when you say or speak the word, you got to get that feeling too. Like, yeah, I'm blessed. And I'm highly favored. You got to feel that thing. That way you're tricking the subconscious mind to get to that state of being. That way your feelings is bringing you to a spiritual realm. Instead of keeping you in your body by you thinking a thought, you're feeling instead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Release us this, okay? Oh, yeah, you saw me crying up in here. <laughs> Shedding tears. I always say that. I always say that, too. Shedding tears is the way the heart rips off. Yeah. Yeah, we got that in common, Miss, Miss Chronicles. Yeah. Hey, um, Goddess, I didn't know you was up in here. Goddess 11. <sighs> I can't do in this work. You can't. Joseph, you got a typo up in there? You, you, I, I'm hopeful that you mean you can't wait to do this work. I'm hopeful. Yeah, this is a blessing. The universe sent him to you. Yeah, but ultimately, that was your higher self. You are so right about that. You are so right about that. Your higher self in physical form guiding you. And so, and I still hear that voice. And that voice, whenever you get to this place in your journey, you can understand that that voice that I'm talking about that I still hear is me too. You know, because all is God. And so in my kingdom, all that I'm experiencing is me because life is happening through me. And so that's how you relate to things in your physical reality. All is you over there. So your reflections are reflections of you over there. <laughs> Just like in a biblical text, the 12 disciples, the 12 expressions of the Christ conscious one. All of it was God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he was, he was, and still is. You right about that. Yeah, wild trauma stores in the body. It really does. And the stress, the stress too. This is another thing that I've realized on being on retired. You know, so many people has offered me a job. You know that? 
He would just offer me jobs, and I ain't gonna lie, I, 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 <laughs> I kind of entertained doing some things, but I only entertained them because they, you know, it was fun. It's something I, I wanted to try. But the so-called corporate jobs, because I come from corporate America, they, they add on a level of stress that I've decided consciously that I don't want to fool with no more. Because now being retired, I better understand, man, it was stressful meeting those deadlines that I really didn't want to meet. It was stressful having to ask somebody if I could get a day off. It was a little bit of stress. And so stress is like a silent killer. You know, you know, everybody might not be there in their physical reality to, you know, do early retirement or whatever at this moment in time. But if you create that feeling, because that's what I did, if you create that feeling through thought, through thinking of it, you can get there. Because look at me. That's how I got here. Early retirement. <laughs> early retirement at 40 to get here. <laughs> To talk to you all, to schedule my day to do what I want to do. And now that I'm out of that, you don't realize how stressed you are. <laughs> Sometimes until you get out of the stressful environment and you take a deep breath and you look back and you're like, dang, I did that. I did that for 22 years. I did that. And so then you understand you don't want to set that tone for your life. You, you could create, I have created an environment where my life is peaceful. I ain't got no stress, no headaches. Matter of fact, I'm a little bird lady. My little hummingbirds out here. That 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 that's peace to me. I like the simplicity of life. I I could travel. I get up and close my website when I want to. I just got back up in the country yesterday, and I was like, okay, since I'm back in the country, let me go live and tell these people about this transformation course because they they was blowing up my phone on a viral video asking me to help them with this and that and third. Okay, let let me talk about the transformation video. I mean, transformation um course because um evidently they overlooking it on the website, but it has always been there for my reflections. So if you need help, that's the place to go. But make sure you pay attention to that stress because sometimes we'll get in flight or fight mode trying to pay bills, trying to be in that relationship and trying to make sure that that person loves me and trying to make sure that I'm feminine enough or I'm masculine enough and I'm this enough. No, you are enough without all of that extra. <laughs> sometimes those attachments that we be trying to attach ourselves to become a stumbling block in our journey too now. So be mindful of that. How you feel. Feeling is the key. Spiritually, feeling is the key. How you feel matters. You might have been told when you was a little girl, nope, don't do that. Be nice. You got to share. You got to no, you don't. I'm telling you, you got to rewrite all that. Ain't about being nice, girl. It's about how you feel. You sit there and you feel healthy. You sit there and you feel financially free. You feel freedom. You feel prosperity. You feel abundance. You feel whatever it is that you want to feel and milk that feeling. Build up the energy in your mind to that feeling. Carry that feeling with you because feeling is the key. Feeling is bringing you to the spiritual realm to that 99.999% where all things stem from. It's how you feel. It's how you feel. If you don't get nothing else out of this video, remember how you feel matters. Don't you let nobody in your physical reality tell you anything different. Wash your brain again to understand how I feel matter. How I feel matter. Finally, how I feel matters. I promise you, I'm not lying to you. <laughs> yeah, you tapped out of the live. Well, welcome back, Miss Be So, yeah, the beaded curtains. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. The beaded curtains. Yeah, I couldn't think of that for nothing. Yeah, I started therapy today. Oh, look at Sherelle. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. That's a beautiful thing. A beautiful thing. So important. I do consultations on my website too. Consultations. Here tonight, in a girl and a boy. So many people have gotten breakthroughs from the, my mentorship or consultations that I do. It's twice a week for a month where I talk to 45 minutes twice a week and we get to the core of the issues. Make sure when you in, in therapy, Sherelle, and you a hero for even initiating that thing. I feel so proud of you. 
Make sure when you in that therapy session that you get down to the gutter, to the layers of that onion, to the core of that onion, that little girl, if she if she's not feeling worthy, if she's not feeling loved or whatever, talk to her. I have some videos available. I know you got your own therapist, but on my YouTube channel, Jarrell, I have videos available. If you go to my YouTube channel, my link is in my profile. You'll see a black triangle. It'll bring you right to my YouTube channel. Click on the word videos when you get there and scroll down. You'll, you'll see two videos. One would be like a self-love concept. That's a relationship with you and your inner being. A lot of people I consult with have many had breakthroughs with that video. And another one is how to heal, begin to heal the inner girl, the little boy inside of you. And on that video, that's you in the room, pretending your little girl, your little boy and walked in the room. And then you just break free and you tell him or her everything that you think mama should have told her, daddy should have told her, and everything you want her to know about herself. That you got her, that you're going to save her, that you love her, that she's beautiful, that she's worthy, and that you're going to protect her. Things like that. Tough. Because because secretly, we be walking. See, the subconscious thing is really secret to the person that we're talking about. So, for example, me. Subconsciously, if I was un a un unhealed version of myself, subconsciously, people uh, see that. But me being in my body... I can't see the sticker that's on my head or the energy that I'm emitting as much as the other people outside of me can see it. So that's why it takes you going within. Or me, if I had those issues, I would have to go within myself to heal myself, to get to know myself in order for my subconscious mind to be stimulated and my new signal to be broadcast to my reflections. And when my new signal go out, it can't come back to me void no more. So my new signal will be that I'm worthy and I'm healed. Yeah, because that's what's going on inside of me. And so that's how you really transform me in yourself at a cellular level. And now you got a new signal going on. That's where you should be, the level you should be at after therapy. After therapy, you should be there. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Just beautiful healing. Yeah. Healing is my position, yeah. I have lost friends of mine because of my... Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. You still got your mind. You will never lose your mind. Oh, a lot of us in our journey, you know how they say the mind is a terrible thing to waste. But we still, even with that waste word, we're still not wasting nothing. Because we can never get this thing called life wrong. We live for eons and eons, lifetime after lifetime. Some people take a break from consciousness. They take a whole lifetime break. You know some people like that. You know some relatives like that. They ain't doing nothing. They don't want to do nothing. Because they didn't decide, look, I'm taking a break this, this lifetime. <laughs> Subconsciously, they taking a break. They didn't check out of it all. And so just let them people be. But others, they are on a journey in this lifetime, in this right now moment. We're like, nah. Like for me, example, for example, nah, I want expansion. Now, I want to see how, how deep this rabbit hole really run. You know, like, like, no, like, this life, this is a life that I live. This is a lifestyle to me. I ain't coming on here on no TikTok to tell you some things that I ain't doing. No, I got evidence of the things that I've done and have um, and doing today, you know, in my transformation course, in my consultation, in the word, in, in, in my prosperity, in, in my right now moment. The, it's like the guaranteed results. <laughs> yeah. Or or better yet, the receipts. <laughs> I got receipts, y'all. <laughs> yeah. I got receipts. Crying at work. Oh, my goodness. Look at Joseph. <laughs> That's funny. You are so welcome. You're so welcome. Let me get the bonus. You're welcome. Me too. Me too. Okay. I'm retired also. Quiet on, Sharon. I like that. That's a manifestation right there. It's beautiful. Work is stressing me out right now. Yeah. Yeah. Because it keeps you in that flight or fight mode. But at the same time, if you are there now, you could deliver yourself from that flight or fight mode. And you could be easy with yourself mentally. You could play the game of life mentally. And you could, while you're looking at um, other people 
in your habitual thinking, because this is what I begin to do when I want it out <laughs> of, um, you know, corporate America and I wanted to move and everything. While people were telling me about these different deadlines and, you know, the work that I had to do or when I would see like the VPs and stuff, I was playing a game in my mind. Like I remember telling um, the VPs, I saw them on the elevator. I was like, hi, you decided to come to work today, huh? And I pat him on his shoulder. I walked around as if I was in charge. And they'd laugh at me thinking I'm joking and stuff. And so when people was asking me to do certain things, I would say, hmm, yeah, of course. I say that out loud. I'm right on top of it. And But in my mind, I would say stuff like, yeah, I'm doing it this time. But I, this is going to be my last time, though, because I'm about to retire. Didn't know the date. Didn't know that I was. Didn't have the house picked out or anything. But that's what I was saying in my habitual thinking. And I would go and see the people that I knew for years. I would pass by and say, hey, I'm just passing by just to say hi to you. But in my mind, I was like, these are going to be some numbered visits. I hope you enjoy spending time with me because I'm about to retire. You know, so I was holding on to the feeling so much that I tricked my subconscious mind into thinking, oh, she's retired. Give her more. And so I took a trip to Arizona. Realtor brought me here. And it felt like the home or the space that I was manifesting at night when I was I was doing that at work. But at night, when I before I went to bed, drifting to sleep, I was imagining my home. I was imagining my towel. I was imagining those um, counters. I mean, those cabinets and everything. I was imagining this. I was feeling this because I know feeling is the key. Spiritually, I got to feel it. I got to be it if I want to experience it. So I was just being retired. I was just being financially secure. I was just being in Arizona. I was just being. <laughs> That's the key. Just being. It ain't about all of the do-do-do. It's about being more than in the doing. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jay. Yeah, stress, depression. Yes, I retired at 38. Look at you, 38. You, you was a real dude. I ain't have my mind right, Jarell, yet. <laughs> I ain't have my mind yet. But um, my mind right. But the hurricane, I even I think it's all in New Orleans. Yeah, that one got my mind right, right. Because I got tired of rebuilding the same house for over and over. And it hadn't even dawned on me that I was constantly rebuilding in New Orleans, Louisiana. But well, every hurricane, and I just got tired. There we go. When you get tired, that's right where you're about to do something different. But you got to get tired first. And that's, that's what I was saying earlier on this here live. Some people just ain't tired yet. They they, they won't they they gonna go in for another round. You know, some people that are also ain't enough yet. They gonna go back in until the kidneys start feeling. Yeah, they ain't tired yet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they ain't tired. I did it for twenty three years. Okay, darn, you really my reflection over there, Sherelle. Hey, ladybug. I feel I'm part of you. When you're excited, Chinese market, I get excited. You, you cry, make me cry. I know, I didn't know that was a big, well, I guess I didn't know, but it just came out. I didn't really come here to cry. <laughs> I didn't come here to cry, though, when it came out. How I feel matters. Yes, it does, Jarell. It does. You could be crying. You could be crying at that therapy. I know that. But get it all out. Rinse that heart off and love again. That's it. Yeah. Man, it hit different today. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Being. Yeah, I needed a hip replacement. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, voila here. <laughs> Thank you for joining. But yeah, so the purpose, back to the purpose of this here video, I just really want to remind you all about the Power Within um, Transformation course. If you are interested, like I said, it is in my bio. The link to my website. Once you get to my website, you'll see my picture. Underneath my picture, you'll see the words Power Within Transformation Course. Use the coupon code I am ready. And it's only for when you get ready. When you get ready, it's there and available for you. But I, I know it is a good value. 
because it's somebody that you could relate to over the t past 10 years when I first started this journey up until now you can relate and now you know the things to do to what to and not to do because it's almost like you're making a sacrifice because you know if you're growing in life you got to sacrifice something you're gonna have to give away something right so maybe if you're giving away you know your sweets or whatever that's kind of hijacking your mind temporarily because it, it got your brain thinking that you're hungry when you're really full when you're on that high fructose corn syrup if you're gonna get you know let that thing go then you need to learn how to incorporate maybe some dates and maybe some agave if, if maybe some you know sugar from your fruits instead so that's that's pretty much what it is is you sacrificing the Old Testament, and then you coming over to the subconscious where you renewed your mind and you being born again, you resurrecting yourself, but you're resurrecting yourself on 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 a better soil, mindfulness in in mindfulness in the spiritual, but also in the physical reality, of life force foods that's gonna really electrify your body and give you vital minerals that your body needs. Then once you mastered both sides of the spectrum. Then you can sit back and realize, man, I did this. I transformed my energy. I am a creator creating. I am a manifester manifesting. And so if I'm a creator creating and I, I create this here and I transform my energy and I healed myself, what else can I do? And if I healed myself, how did I heal myself? Did I heal myself with them food? Or did I heal myself with that mindfulness? Did I heal myself only in the physical? Or did I heal myself spiritually where all of that 99.9% .9 exists that she was talking about? And then, then, so when you learn that, then you realize, wait, 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 this is mindfulness. This is mindfulness. I done successfully renewed my mind. And so now it's, it's, it's like the marriage of the bride and the groom. The right and left brain hemisphere becoming one. You becoming one with the father, so to speak, in the biblical text. This is what all of this is about. I and my father are one. And nothing shall by any means harm you. So now you're walking around in your Christ conscious mode after you've been through the power within the transformation code. It's not going to just transform you physically. It's going to transform you spiritually. And this is something... That you're not just going to deal with in this lifetime. This truth, this knowledge of self is going to be with you for eons and eons and eons. <laughs> Whew. Okay, I'm about to wrap this video up. I thank each and every last one of you for coming through. And make sure you take care of yourself. I'm congratulating you on your, on your journey. Make sure you get you some fruit. Sherelle, make sure... Make sure you get into them feelings. Make sure you cry, River, and heal that inner being. Make sure you you work out today, somebody. Who gonna work out? Who gonna eat some fruit? Who gonna tell that the, the negative thought? Get up out of here. We ain't thinking that right now. Who gonna dare to be different? I'm hopeful that somebody under the sound of my voice will. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I love you too, Miss B. So. I just got back. Okay, okay, cool. This video was from my heart to yours. I love you too, Miss Ladybug. Be blessed, babe. Bye.